Hello everybody and welcome to Ancient Architects. Please subscribe now to get the latest ancient history news and independent research from around the world. In 2008, the world's oldest stone bracelet was discovered, the handiwork of a now extinct species, subspecies or population of humans that scientists call the Denisovans. This incredible object was dated between 40,000 and 50,000 years ago, but just under a decade later in 2017, there was some speculation it was even older, being between 65,000 and 70,000 years old. Although, as far as I can see, this was never confirmed. It was found in Stratum 11 of the world famous Denisova Cave, located in the Altai region of Siberia and it truly is one of a kind, showing technical skills in fine stonework long before we ever thought was possible. Experts say it was worn by an important woman or child, and it is thought to have only been used on special occasions. But, of course, any interpretation for an artefact of this age is pure speculation. Whoever its wearer and whatever its importance, it is a find that fundamentally changed our views on the Denisovans, showing us they were far more advanced than we ever thought was possible. In bright sunlight, the green chloride would have reflected the rays of the sun, and at night, by a fireside, it would have cast a deep shade of green. It is also delicate and very fragile, which is why the experts believe it was worn on special occasions only and wasn't an everyday object. As you may or may not know, the Denisova cave in the Altai Mountains is world famous for its paleontological finds that relate to the Denisovans, an extinct population that was genetically different to Homo sapiens and Neanderthals. The manufacturing techniques to make the bracelet look like something you'd find in the Neolithic era of modern human history but it is of course much, much older. We can see the smooth, clearly polished, curving outer edge of the bracelet, and the circular drill hole that's running through it, which has a diameter of 8mm. The bracelet is less than a centimetre in thickness, and it has an estimated diameter of around 7cm, shown here on the wrist of a mannequin. Inspecting the artefact, and scientists stated that the drill that was used to make the hole had a relatively high speed with minimal fluctuations. Some kind of implement was used, and so the technology for the day was certainly advanced. The Denisovans had clearly mastered skills that were considered uncharacteristic for the Paleolithic. They could precisely drill, grind and polish even the most intricate of artefacts, and the outcome really is truly stunning. Chlorite was also not local to the cave it was found in, and would have had to have come from at least 200 kilometers away, meaning it was likely a precious and valuable material for the time. Of course we can see it has suffered damage, today it's not in one piece, but there are also scratches and bumps that date back to the time it was used, because it looks like some of the ancient scratches have even been sanded down by the Denisovans, meaning they had restored the artefact at least once before. It is also likely that this piece of jewellery had other adornments as well. Next to the hole on the outer surface, there is a specific zone of polishing indicating it was in constant contact with some kind of soft organic material. It's possible there was a leather strap attached, likely with a heavy charm hanging from it. The polishing around the hole has helped the experts to distinguish the top and bottom of the bracelet. Although this is the most spectacular find, the Denisova cave has also brought forth many other objects, including a 50,000 year old needle, as well as a ring that's carved out of marble. Here we can see pendants made from animal teeth, as well as tools that were fashioned from bone, all of which are Denisovan in origin, and date between 43,000 and 49,000 years ago. This is a 50,000 year old tiara that was made from woolly mammoth ivory, another artefact that shows incredible technical know-how. The Denisovans would have had to remove the tusk from the mammoth 
Cut it into thin pieces and then soak it in water before bending it into shape. Then there was scraping, cutting, grinding and polishing, a variety of different techniques to achieve the final product. The Denisovans were clearly sophisticated and experts believe they were more progressive than both Homo sapiens and Neanderthals. So how and why Homo sapiens outlived them we still don't know. We do know that Homo sapiens mated with Denisovans many times, and the inherited genes in modern Tibetans and Sherpas have helped them adapt better to living at high altitudes. And, you never know, maybe it's those Denisovan genes that advanced Homo sapiens technologically as well. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video, and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.